Have you met someone that you just frustrated with? No, I'm not talking about Jack Griffith or Lil Yachty. I'm talking about someone so mind-numbingly repent, so awful, so sinful, such a waste of space in the humankind that you want them to eradicate from the face of the planet. I've wondered that myself. I think it's time I did something about it. Hello, I am Dashaun Whiteley. You may know me as a young kid. You may know me as a kid who does gameplay. You know me as a person who's not afraid to open up. There are some people who should not see New Year's. And I'm going to make sure this person will not see New Year's. By the end of this video, this person shall be gone. Eliminated. I hope you enjoy it. Hello. Yeah, you already saw the introduction. So, basically, yeah. I don't need to go any further, but this guy shall be eradicated. This guy will come no more. And you saw the title of the video, so I don't need to explain anymore. Before I go in this video, you must listen to my instructions. Those instructions being this. If you are affiliated with DSP Gaming, in any way, shape, or form on his channel, you shall unsubscribe to him. If you're on Twitch following him, you shall unfollow him. Unsub to his channel. Unsub to his Twitch. Twitter, unfollow him. Facebook, unfollow him. Instagram, unfollow him. When I go to his Twitch or see his Twitch and he's streaming, I see tumbleweeds. I hear crickets. I hear nothing going on in the background. Get it. Do these instructions. And he will get what he's coming to him. So, some of you may know DSP Gaming. I know him. Not personally, but I know him. But, on the surface level, he's going to be like just a bad gamer. But, oh, no, 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 no. There's a lot more. But basically, so, this man is known for doing god-awful gameplay. Go on his channel. This nigga does not do any fucking editing whatsoever. He doesn't even know how to edit, or maybe he's just so fucking lazy that he doesn't even want to try. At all. I don't even know. But he does a lot of Let's Plays like Sonic the Hedgehog, some Rockstar games like Red Dead Redemption, or great more recently from what I picked up, Grind Zero Dawn, which our good friend uh, Sean is probably going to be doing by any time soon. But um, yeah, this guy, he just lacks so much common sense that I wouldn't be surprised if he was faking it. I mean, oh my fucking goodness, it's just bad. I mean, just why? Why does he exist in the face of YouTube? He just doesn't know how to play video games. And he makes gamers like myself look bad. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. You're probably just thinking, Uh, that's fine, you're probably just over-exaggerating. Oh, no, I'm not. Let me give you a couple of examples. On his Bayonetta video, this nigga couldn't even figure out how to leave and go on to the next level on stage Uno. Uno, one. Number one, Nigel Uno. He, he couldn't even figure it out. He, it had to take him a couple of freaking hours, or probably minutes actually, to just figure out where to go next to continue with the damn game at the start of it. That's just fucking sad. And this man has a corrupted mind, which we'll be going into later. And this man is simply the pinnacle of laziness, which we will get into later. This man's gameplay is god-awful, and you're better off looking for Dashaun Whiteley for better gameplay. Or Kobe, or anyone in the face of the internet. Just, this man just makes me want to fucking hunt down a civilian and just smack him. But... You're probably thinking to yourself, Oh, but the shine, Big Shit Phil's not that bad. And what, you don't seem this angry at DSP Gaming, at least not ironically. Uh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I probably wasn't this mad at Little Knuckles or Little Sign, because you know by now. Because, well, here's the truth. So basically, recently I've been watching some of his gameplay. And I'm watching compilations of this is how you don't play. And there are tons of problems that we have to mention here together, folks. I hope by the end I can convince you that there is no saving this man. There's nothing I can do 
There's nothing that you can do. Just give up. Quit. Adios. If you are a follower of this man and you don't want to listen to my words, I don't give a shit. You're going to die in the apocalypse then. And you'll lose every single cent you have. Your U.S. currency will become nothing. Okay, but if you're still here listening to me, then I'll give you the skinny. So basically, I've been watching the Sonic Mania Let's Play. Seriously, it's a good game, but not important. Basically, there are so many problems here. The first one, well, duh, he fucking sucks, but it just shows off everything. Number one is the first thing I got to mention is the fact that at one point he had a girlfriend for some reason. I don't even know why. It basically, and also leads to another problem, and we'll just address them both together, his girl laziness. This man basically doesn't do shit. He doesn't do shit. He doesn't have to work for his money. I mean, he's, he's not the only old man who is in financial straits. So basically, instead of sucking up, getting a dead-end job, he just goes on YouTube and pretty much does the equivalent of begging for money. He didn't do anything worth any value. He's begging for your motherfucking money. And you're giving it to him, to his Patreon. And what does that money his Patreon go to? Fund his fat ass and have and funding his food reviews. Yeah, it's fast as food reviews. And it's pretty cancerous, so I really need to go on about that shit. But, that, he's just fucking lazy. He doesn't want to work for shit. And at one point, his, his ex-girlfriend, I should say, Pan Lee, didn't want to work for shit neither. But she's doing her own shit now. So finally, the world has its toll on someone. The second part, we must mention, is his fan base. Believe it or not, he has a fan base. I know, it's hard to believe. And believe it or not, he treats his fan base like fucking shit. Basically, so if you were to fight him on a fighting game loop, like, ooh, I don't know. Uh, Street Fighter V or something like that, even though this game is fucking shit. If you were to fight him on there, if you beat him, he will fucking insult you. Not like having fun insult, even though that really wouldn't be good. He's basically insulting you, the player, your ability. He will accuse him of cheating. He will he will basically accuse the game of lagging. He will make any excuses necessary to protect his name. Even though at this point, he doesn't have a name. He doesn't have anything. He's nothing. Yes. If you were to fight him on here, you'd be insulted. No one likes that shit. That's not how you treat your fans. For all rising YouTubers, you must know this. And for just any celebrity in general, you must know this. You are nothing without your fans. You don't treat your fans like shit. And if you do, that's a one-way trip, trip. A one-way trip to fucking hell. Making great by Satan. Wow. What a fucking idiot. And basically, the third part we must also address is basically his sense of humor. Oh wait, did I say sense of humor? Hmm, let's see. I think the best way I can describe it is basically... I don't know. It's so god-awful that I need a new word to describe it. I mean, shit, fucking god awful shit, is just not the words to describe his humor. It's bad. It makes my sense of humor classy. It makes my, it makes me shitting on Jay Z and Dark Souls look like fucking comedy gold compared to his shit. So basically, I mean, fuck nuances, fuck um sarcasm, fuck um uh actual um commentary and shit. Basically, let's just um. Basically, just in penis jokes, and ass jokes, and tits jokes, and nudity jokes, and basically shit that I would probably pull when I was in the, probably in the 6th grade, but I'm in the 10th grade now, not past that shit, not even, and I never pulled that shit when I was in the 7th or ninth grade. 
He's a grown ass man. He's making these type of jokes. That's unacceptable. Get a fucking brain and have a sense of humor. And that sense of humor will lead into another part that I sadly have to talk about. Yeah, I'm done with the voice for a little bit. And it talks about his sense of humor, which goes into fucking racism. For, for those who don't know, I fucking despise racism. If you're racist to my kind, you shall be annihilated. Phil is no different. He is constantly, constantly racist. He makes a lot of ching chang chong or whatever jokes about Asian people, do a lot of stupid accents, make quotes from movies, but never mention that he makes quotes from movies, which makes fun of a whole nation. And then basically, he's online, online, going in front of a, going in front of a person who's speaking a different nationality, mocks their language and says, yeah, I got the balls to insult a country. Hmm, that's not balls. Hmm, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, it starts with a R and ends with an M. Hmm, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, racism. It's racism. That's what it is, bitch. And what's worse, he keeps saying that he hates racism. I know what you're thinking. Uh, but, uh, but that's Sean. Phil says he hates racism. Then why is he such a fucking racist? Whenever he says racist shit, he never apologizes. And there's one incident that made me want to do this. Okay, so basically, we all know about this one. I don't think I need to explain it. For those who've been living under a rock, which I, I think you'll be glad you are. I'll explain the situation to you. <sighs> So basically, Dipshit Phil was basically on this website called Blip TV. I don't know what the fuck it is. If anyone knows what it is, please let me know in the comments below. He was doing some gameplay of Dead Space 1, 2, 3. I think it's 1 because I didn't hear the main character talk, but <clears throat> that's not important. So basically, during this whole entire time, he pretended to be a Nazi and pretended these enemies he were killing were fucking Jews. For those who do not know, I am religious, so in that sense, that fucking offended me, and it made me want to slap him across the TV screen. It made me, it made me want to go after him and just choke him to death. But this part, where he talked about now turn the ovens on, which is a re which is a reference to the fucking Holocaust. That's it. I I'm done. I try to be calm this time. Time to lash out. You insensitive bastard. Don't you have any fucking respect for those who lost, who damn near lost their life in the Holocaust? There are some people who are lucky to survive, but you can't even have any tiny sympathy or respect for those. You want to know how I know this? There was one guy who pretty much reported him for the excessive racism during the video, and I think he did a good job of it. So, Bravo, whoever the guy was, you're doing God's work. You wonder what dipshit Phil's reaction was? He just basically, he took said criticism and basically said this guy was jealous of him and called him a shithead. Wow, what a mature, made-up response. Here's an idea. Why don't you take this criticism and go, here's, okay, if you're a YouTuber or a rapper or anything, here's how you take criticism. When someone gives you constructive criticism in a con in a thoughtful way that tells you your flaws and tells you how you can get better, here's what you do. You say, okay, thank you for the criticism. I'm going to do better next time. That's what you do, and you do better next time. That Look, criticism is there. Well, it's not really criticism. It's more reporting, but it is sort of criticism because it teaches Phil what he shouldn't what he should and should not do. But then again, excessive racism is sort of a black and white line. That's just, you do not fucking cross it. So basically, um, yeah. So he didn't take the criticism correctly. He didn't take it. He just took the criticism, thought the guy was being jealous, and he never fucking 
listen. And because he never listened, it led to his recent to the recent LPI I watched of Song Mania being him making a Saudi Arabia joke. Lighting up oil ocean like Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Are you how fucking sensitive can this fat ass be? Yes. It, it it makes you scratch your goddamn head. And there, this guy has been exposed for multiple things. And basically, racism was, it's never funny. And that was more of a religious thing rather than racism. But it's still fucking fucked up. Okay? I don't give a shit. Okay? Plenty of people have called him out on his bullshit. But I'm done. And then I remember watching the Sonic Mania live stream. And then he, there was one kid in there who complained that Phil was cussing too much. Which, I gotta get into that a little bit. YouTubers cuss quite often. I do it. So, fuck you and fuck you. Yeah, I cuss. So, it's not a big deal. But I can see why it can be some problems. Because you gotta get some younger audiences. And then you wonder what Phil fucking says. Because he's a Greek. He's a big, fat, sweaty, greedy pig roach. He says, he pretty much makes a joke about his the kid's parents trying to have sex. And it just, it makes a joke about them can't get off to the sound of cursing. So basically, he's pretty much, he might as well have done, walked up to the kid's house, knocked on his door, go into his room, and did this. Fuck you. I don't care about you. Reaching in the kid's wallet and took a dollar bill right from his pocket and ran out of his house. That's pretty much what's happening to you guys. He is robbing you. You are being lied to. There's no doubt about it. There's no way around it. And if you try to get around it, I don't give a shit. I just don't give a fuck. Like Slim Shady. I don't know what to do. I know you're probably going to quickly dismiss this because I'm 15 year old. But I know when people are getting fucked. I've been in those situations. I've been, there are plenty, my family have been in dire financial straits. But Phil, he doesn't know how to do it right. He took in those, he took in that Patreon money and he went to fuck to, on fucking vacations to a place and not do any fucking work. I'm not even joking here. Go, look, there are a top 10 um fails that DSP ever made. I'm not linking up below because I'm not supporting this fat bastard, but you can find it easily. He, he takes your money and sits on it. You're not benefiting him. You're not supporting him. You're not doing anything for him. He serves no purpose to this planet. And there are plenty of people who have exposed him, who have called him out. But those people were nicer to Phil. And Phil, I mean, there are plenty of people every single time afterwards who pretty much gave Phil constructive criticism. Like my, my, like my favorite YouTuber of all time. Well, not really, but he's still a great YouTuber. Review Tech USA, he gave Phil constructive criticism, and I may, and I'm going to apply some of that a little later, but yeah, and, but you want to know what Phil does? He doesn't listen to their criticism. He just never bothers listening to criticism. When he gets it, he throws it, in. he either A, throws it in the trash, or B, reverses it as a weapon, like sort of a Dan. Um, Hadouken, because basically it goes off, it shoots like a Hadouken, and then it fails, because it didn't hit its target, because, like I said, it's Dan. So, yeah, so basically there are plenty of flaws to DSP. One, he never focuses on, the, on him. So basically, there's a prime example of when he doesn't focus on him rather than the game. So basically, there was one time where his ex-girlfriend, yeah, I already mentioned who she got a job from her, yeah, Panda Lee, I'm, I'm just exposing her name out there, follow her, she's actually a good person. But anyways, she was arguing with this chat and basically telling them that 
with that she did not like Kingdom Hearts. And while I kind of disagree with her, I mean, I think she probably did that just to provoke a reaction. And she was just under control. I mean, not under control, I should say. So what does a, a great man like Phil do when all this shit goes down? Side with everyone and the fan who's super annoyed with his own girlfriend? Keep her in check and just go on with the stream like nothing's happening? Nah. He just goes for the typical Phil approach. What do I mean? He sides with his girlfriend, even though she is clearly in a wrong. Bans those, bans those from talking to him and makes it into sub-only mode simply because he's pissed off. Insults his fan base while he's at it. And then he talks about how you all need to focus on the game, not me. That is fucking bullshit. We, we don't go to a stream for a game. We go for the personality. I'm gonna use... Okay... I know, I'm pretty much ripping off other people at this point, but I'm going to go on anyways. Rit, no, I usually like Richard Rizek USA, Etika. Rizek USA, he does not stream games all that often. And when he does, it's we're usually going for him. And we usually go to interact with him. I actually was in a stream with a guy named Jock, Jock217. He's a really cool YouTuber, you should check him out. He was playing Kingdom Hearts 2, but I wasn't focused on a game. I was focused on interacting with him. I was even asking him a lot of questions about his top 10s, about top 10 FF waifus and whatever. It was fun interacting with him. I interacted also with um, CET Reduction, asking him about Earl vs. MF Doom, and learned I didn't listen to MF Doom, which makes me angry. Etika, Etika, he interacts with his fan base, and he basically has a lot of stupid shit under his belt, reacting to funny videos, reacting to cringy shit, and seeing his reaction to it, and just, overall, just being stupid. But not, like, stupid due to, you know what I'm trying to say, it's funny stupid. So, basically, yeah, what does Phil have? Nothing. He doesn't have any personality. Or it doesn't, he has the personality, he, he has the personality of, uh, uh, of this comb. There's no personality about this whatsoever. Yeah. So basically, there's, so you don't go to stream for his personality, so maybe you'll go for his gameplay, which, like I previously stated, it's basically bullshit. But what you're hoping is, thankfully, like a human being would, he reposts the streams on there in the episodic form so you can watch them. But there are two problems to that. Number one, I figured out when I went to his video with L.A. Noir in the past in two hours or about an hour, he posted around 21 episodes back to back to back to back to back to back like Drake. No, look, now. Now, for a person who has zero time in their hands and can just have all the time in the world to watch those videos, as a teenager who has a lot going on in his life, a lot of school, a lot of work, and also music on his brain, has no time to listen to Phil complain about a game. I don't have that fucking time. But, I mean, look. I mean, like, I'm going to use another example that I should have done my... Uh, my previous one, but I'm going to use it anyways. Dashy. I'm not even a front. Dashy's gameplay on sometimes is pretty shit. But number one, they're in a pretty episodic format that he doesn't go uploading just a shit ton of episodes in one day. He usually does a moderate amount. So you can see them, have enough time for everyone to see them, and then you can see the um, feedback for those videos. And not to mention, we don't go over his gameplay. We either A, goes for his silly freestyles, or B, just his pretty colorful commentary. I'll just go with colorful. So basically, yeah, Phil, yeah, he's just all in one day, two hours, and 21 episodes. I don't want to go through that bullshit. No. Just no. No. I can't do that. 
And another problem with it as well is, well, aside from it being, well, it's just not that portable to take with you. Oh, now I remember. He does no mother fucking editing. Yeah. You know, you know how an average human being were, hey, if there's a part that go on for way too long, maybe I should cut out a little bit so it makes it be so it won't seem like I'm padding out the length. No, Phil doesn't do that. Shit, I, I fuck. Okay. Okay, um, Phil, he doesn't do that. He leaves it raw, unedited, and no bullshit. But basically, you think you think, um, come on, Dashaun, Phil has excuse for doing it. Oh, he does have excuse. The reason he leaves them unedited is simply a pad out the video's lane so he can make that sweet cash. That sweet YouTube revenue, which means absolutely butt nowadays. <laughs> YouTube revenue, my butt. What can I say? I mean, look, he's not even trying he, um, it's almost like he has, as a, he's bragging about this, like it's a big thing, but people edit so the videos won't seem like it's going on for an eternity, but his does, so that means, so now, if he was good at gaming, that's not a big issue, but because he's shit, like for example, like I'm gonna use the game Jack and Daxter for example, because the game has absolutely abysmal, abysmal checkpoint systems. So say every say if you know he was platforming on something, doing a mission or whatever, he dies. So you know what happens? You start all the way back from the starting point of the mission or the level. So that means it stops you dead in your tracks. You saying, "Yeah, f you, start over, sucker." Phil, on the other hand. Yeah, because that's why people do editing, so to cut out unnecessarily long scenes, so it won't pad it out. Phil, he does it regardless, and he gets that useless YouTube cash. Yeah. So, <laughs> wow. Wow, I've been going on for such a long time. I don't get it. And... Now, I know what you're thinking. There's plenty of people saying, but, but Phil, Phil, he, I don't want him to die. I don't want him to die, neither. But after a little while, his death is going to happen. It's going to happen. He can't avoid it. His reputation is fucked up. He can't avoid it. And I'll tell you why. It's the biggest problem. It's because Phil doesn't listen. I know I've said it already, but it's not like cons taking constructive criticism. I mean, take a look at his detractors, the Kojima World Order. There's someone parodying them called the Diva World Order by some guy named Mitch. I gotta give him a shout out because we watch, I watch, excuse me, I watch his Sonic Mania Let's Play. So, yeah. Um... Yeah, that's basically it. So basically, um, excuse me. So, I mean, look at all this attention around him. Look at all this bad attention and all this bad karma Phil's getting. But he doesn't try improving. He doesn't try to adapt with the times. He just uses, he's basically the equivalent of Yo Sammy Sam. He gives out outdated com content and thinks it's new. The only thing that's improved is the quality of the videos. They're HD. But other than that, there's nothing else going for him. His, his videos are just so mediocre and so shit and so unnecessarily long that there's no point in watching them. There's only one reason you will probably want to watch them as sort of this is how you don't play a compilation. And that's how they got popular. That's the only reason I ever watched this guy. He's nothing more than a joke in a community. He does not represent gamers. I mean, come on. I mean, this man um just basically treating his he treats his girlfriend not just treating putting his girl on a pedestal, putting himself on a pedestal, thinking he's the greatest thing since toilet paper. Oh no, 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 no. 
No. You don't represent gamers. Don't come for gamers, man. You don't represent YouTube. You don't represent the human race. Oh my fucking goodness. So basically, in conclusion, DSP Gaming is a motherfucking piece of shit of a human being. He's delusional. He has no self-awareness. He's outdated like Yo Sam. And you need, and he needs to stop. If you are supporting this man, don't support him no more. Don't give him, don't give him your money. Use this money at something. Use this for your food. Use this to feed your children. You use, use this food to get yourself a car or house or something of any importance. Wipe your butt with this money. Do anything that spend it on DSP gaming. I can't believe this. Hold on a minute. Uh, one second. Shutting on. I can't believe it. I can't believe he's doing this in the masses and ruining YouTube forever. This is the equivalent of what I would do. His jokes are equivalent to what I would do when I was younger. He might, look, I'm telling you, you're better off taking your money, standing over a bridge, and just throwing it away, or throwing your money at Shredder. You're better off doing anything than supporting this fat piece of cockroach with horrible gameplay, horrible, horrible, horrendous jokes, a lackluster of listening to his fan base, a lackluster of using his resources to either A, approve his content, or B, just, he just used it for fucking food, a lackluster of listening to anyone, and just doesn't know how to read, he doesn't know how to take criticism of what's so fucking ever, doesn't know how to deal with the bad situation, and a fuck ton of other problems. It should be illegal. For someone like this to be around. He's a waste. He's a piece of fuck. Someone has to get rid of him. I'm done. He's played the gaming world for far too long. He played YouTube for far too long. At first it was going to be Danielle Bregali. But Phil, thanks to your Saudi Arabia joke. And your racist little comments. And, oh, and there's one more fact I have to throw in. I have to throw in this fact. You know those emotional scenes from games like, um, uh, once again, um, Kingdom Hearts, um, I gotta think, uh, The Walking Dead. Those moments, those emotional moments where the average human being will feel some emotion like pain. No, he fucking laughs. He laughs at it. He laughs at their misery. Kind of like how he laughs at your misery. But not me. I thought I threw that in there. So basically, DSP, if you're watching this, you will be nothing by the time I am done with you. And everyone who's watching this video, join me. You're being lied to. You're being deceived. I don't want your money. I just want to help you. I want to help you see the world with common sense. Don't give him your money. Don't follow him. I'll repeat my directions. Don't give Don't give him a dollar. Don't give him your views. Don't give him your time. Don't give him a subscription. Don't follow him on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, wherever the fuck he's on, don't follow him. He's not worth any of that. If you're related to Phil, you shall cut all ties from him. Mishima did it. Blit TV did it. And if you are, if you were a fan of him, you shall cut all ties of him. Because by tonight, he's nothing. He's Dead. He shall be dead. Virtually dead. Y'all thinking, oh, <laughs> I never done this type of shit before. I got the bag here and everything. The bag here and everything. Tell your friends. 
Tell your family. Tell your mama. Tell your brother. Tell your uncle. Tell your sister. Tell your cousins. Tell your tell your cousins' sons. Tell your cousins' daughter. Tell anyone about this. Tell anyone about DSP. Tell your closest friend. Tell anyone who's being harmed by this. Don't tell him. You can try, but he won't listen to you. He doesn't care about you. He wants that sweet cash. He's willing to do. He's willing to trample over, trample over anyone and kill anyone. And harm those who are ever affected by him. To get his money. He will probably walk over you. He will probably, he will probably bathe in your blood to get money. Okay, wow, I'm going too far, but yeah, it's going down tonight, man. It's going down. Try me, bitch. Try me. Try me. Oh. Thank you all for watching. This is Dashaun Wiley. Just a quick little mention. And some like dick DSP gaming.